Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today and I know what you're thinking, I'm in your head right now. You're thinking, Maddie, another Mass Effect leak. Shut up, dude. Shut your mouth, dude, okay? Just wait, dude. I get it, I understand. However, this leak is substantial for one reason and it is a way to officially confirm to those who have been doubting for a while that this is happening. Like I said, we've really been running off the, uh, the word of Jeff Grubb for a long while here on the channel when it comes to the Mass Effect trilogy remaster, but now we have something through the ratings board in South Korea. We also have a couple of other really important discussion points to get into involving reveal dates, release dates, because now that the game has reportedly been internally delayed, it's speculation season once again when it comes to Mass Effect trilogy remaster. You guys know I am the man for the job. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, get cozy. We're going to talk about a little Mass Effect today. So let's dive in, starting off with reading an article from Games Radar. The Mass Effect Legendary Edition has been rated in Korea in what might be the best proof yet that the remastered trilogy really exists. Earlier today, on October 14th, Gamatsu first noticed that the Game Rating and Administration Committee of Korea had rated a product called the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now you might remember that last month in September, I made a video on this as well, a report from Jeff Grubb had claimed that this was the name of the remastered Mass Effect trilogy from EA and Bioware. On screen here, you can see the actual rating itself. It actually happened a while ago, so it's sort of flown under the radar for a decent amount of time now, but it's just starting to make the rounds. First and foremost, I don't know how many other games I can say have leaked on the South Korea ratings board. It feels like every substantial release. I remember EA was doing this NHL game. It was like a pre-order bonus for the new NHL coming out, and that leaked on the ratings board. Like, everything leaks on the South Korea ratings board, and it's as good as proof as any that this game actually exists. So if you were one of those people who was sitting back, holding yourself back from all the hype that you wanted to release, this is pretty much the most solid confirmation you can get outside of, of course, a lot of the reports I've been covering, some of the things I've heard that I have reported, and of course, a lot of the things that we're hearing around the industry. The other thing worth noting is that this was rated for the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. This does not seem like it's going to have a specific next-gen version. I think that's very important to clarify because by the time we actually do have this game, I imagine next-gen systems will be in some of our hands, so some people want to know if there's going to be a difference there, maybe in the terms of performance, but it looks like this is a PS4 and Xbox release. When it comes to PC, we still have no word yet, no reports or leaks yet on how exactly upgrades will work on the PC. Will this version be so different from the original Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 that it'll warrant buying it again and EA plans on selling it? Or is this something that if we already own those games in our library, they will upgrade for free. Now EA is a little spotty on that because I imagine they had some involvement with Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning, which was the remaster for that wonderful RPG, which I hope a lot of you have taken a look at if you have yet to ever play that entry. But anyways, I imagine since EA had published the original title, they had something to do with Re-Reckoning, and the way that the PC upgrade was handled for Re-Reckoning was, I felt, less than ideal. So basically they made you pay what was half of the price of the game. So it was like $40 and instead you were paying 20 to upgrade. And in my opinion, I don't think the upgrades were worth that money. But point being is that EA, between what they're doing with FIFA as of lately, where it's gotten some horrendous reviews, sales are down on it, people are really starting to kick back on EA Sports. Same thing with Madden. I can only imagine as someone who's played a lot of NHL that that's gonna go down the tubes. So they're sort of uh, hitting against the wall everywhere. Now that also does bring up the concern of whether or not they're going to treat Mass Effect properly, but I don't want to get off the, the track here too much. Let's talk reveal dates, release dates. That's something a lot of us are really looking for here. It's something we've been searching for for seemingly all of 2020, because for a lot of us, if you've been watching this channel, the speculation really started in 2020 of February. So. It's been a while, man. Like we've been talking about this for a long while, especially since like 2020. At some months, it feels like this year will not end. And some months it feels like just rapid fire. Like uh, September was one of those rapid fire months, but the whole summer it was like, oh my God, this year's not over yet. Okay, what's happening? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you head over to Amazon, like I said, if you've been watching this for a while, you'll know that I've been covering a lot of different parts of Mass Effect 
This was one of the first substantial pieces of evidence that I brought to the table. It is a book called The Art of the Mass Effect Trilogy Expanded Edition. Now, this is something that I thought the timing was very strange upon its announcement, given that we had nothing happening with the Mass Effect Trilogy. Now, we do see here for the hardcover book that it is releasing February 23rd, 2021. So it's been dated. We haven't seen much discussion on the web about it. And I think it's very important to point out because last we had heard from Jeff Grubb is that this game had been internally delayed into a early 2021 release date. Now, of course, when you take a look at that, now you see a, a book with a release date of February 23rd, 2021. I feel like the dots start to connect on how this could possibly be a release date or a release window because you'd naturally want the game that'll help bolster the sales for the book right on top of each other. Maybe not so stacked that it actually goes ahead and overlaps and now the game is hurting the book, but maybe the game comes out a week after the book or a week and a half after the book because at that point you have something that people want to get that mass effect fix as soon as possible maybe they buy into the book impulsively look i'm not advocating for it i'm just saying that i know ea okay i do not trust ea and you should not trust ea either with that in mind of course a reveal date has to be considered and so what i was thinking was november 7th of course n7 day this is a very popular day when it comes to the mass effect franchise we've seen multiple days within video games really start to take hold of the internet and you'll see respective game developers celebrating them like i think the last of us had a certain day and i want to say september or august where it was in the lore the day that like the virus broke out or i'm sorry the way the day everyone got infected and so now they've uh They've celebrated that year in, year out, and of course this year in particular, people were expecting something special because The Last of Us Part Two had released. And so I'm thinking that now if we're looking at a 2021 release date, what better time to reveal the Mass Effect Trilogy remaster than N7 Day, right? The day we're all celebrating Mass Effect. So for me, I would say personally, you should wait patiently for then. Of course, with how much this game has leaked, anything is possible. Now, last but not least, I saw this in an article, I want to say it was from Metro, and it's a really good point. It's just about Bioware generally. It really doesn't have to directly do with the Mass Effect Trilogy remaster, but how much Bioware is doing. So recently it was confirmed, we know that they're working on a Dragon Age game. That's their next big game. The reports have said that after Dragon Age, they're going back to Mass Effect again. But currently, as it stands, a new Mass Effect game, we'll say Mass Effect 4, in quotes, is in pre-production. Then you've got this humongous overhaul when it comes to Anthem, which was confirmed a while ago. I mean, who knows what that even does, right? If that comes out and does that bring life to the game again, that's going to be really interesting to see the response on the web and what Bioware does to remedy all the issues with the game. And then of course, last but not least, is the game that we're talking about here today, which is the Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster. And so people have started to ask the question of how exactly is Bioware balancing all of these projects? Now, pre-production is usually a very small team. It's very dialed back. It's art, it's concepts, it's storyboarding. It still takes a lot of heads to put something together, right? You are putting together essentially the story, but they're not actively in development like, say, what seems to be happening with Dragon Age 4 or, of course, the Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster. So I don't know if the Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster is one of those games where it's all hands on deck. We got to get this out the door because we're hearing about substantial changes to Mass Effect 1. Obviously, that brings about the question of Mass Effect 3. Will the ending be changed? That was the most controversial part of the game. But if they're delaying it, I think it does suggest the possibility that they might be thinking about something along those lines because they need more time to work on things like that. However, on the other end of the spectrum, a lot of people have suggested that since the game was found on rating boards in 2020, that it still could be coming out this year. I personally don't really think that's the case. I think it's far too late, but anything can happen. So we'll see, ladies and gentlemen. For now, I just want to go ahead and deliver the latest Mass Effect leak here on the ratings board, but also bring about the possibility of a reveal date, a release date, and talk about the overall status of Bioware. So it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks as we see more unfold here. I genuinely thought the Mass Effect leaks were going to be done, but at least now we can see on a ratings board the Legendary Edition is there, uh, thus confirming it's real. So at the very least, 
those of you who were doubting or leaving it on the table can now take it and be hyped that at one day it's going to come i promise you so ladies and gentlemen with that i leave it in your very capable hands what do you think about this topic let me know in the comments down below other than that Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below. Big thank you to all of the patrons, all of the members who have been joining up, supporting what I'm doing here. I appreciate each and every single one of you. You've really helped move things forward. I've been kind of uh, engaging in a new plan for 2021 on some extra things I wanna do uh, to express my creative side. So I'm really looking forward to that stuff and it's because you guys are supporting me so much that I'm able to even consider it. So <clears throat> I'm not crying. I was choking on some food, I promise you. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, and I'll talk with you soon. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.